What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to place our floor plan and section inside the sheet that we have created last video. Okay, remember on our last video, we have created, we have learned how to create our sheets there. So we created our A1 floor plan and then our A2 section sheet. So this time around, we are going to insert the views inside the sheet that we have created. And I just want to take notice of this one. So going to my 01 entry level floor plan, remember we have created this section here. And then you will notice when I place the section, the detail number here and then the sheet number is empty, right? Of this section. Okay, so I have said last time that the reason is that the section that you have created, which is, uh, I'm going to open, which is this one, is not yet inserted the sheet or the title block. That's why you can see that your entry level here, the section is empty. So there's no detail number and then there's no section or uh, sheet number. Same with our callout. Remember, when we learn how to place our callout, the first time we place it, again, you will not be able to see any detail number or sheet number. It's because the callout that we have created, which is, oops, sorry, which is this one, is not yet inserted inside the sheet. And same with this one. Okay? So if I open this callout, so this view is not yet inserted inside the sheet that's the reason why you will notice the sheet number here or the detail number is blank okay so now we are going to automate it so you can see that once we inserted the views that we needed inside the sheet you will notice your section your call out bubble the detail number and then the sheet number uh, will appear okay so based on the sheet that we have created now i'm gonna open my uh a1 the a1 floor plan so let's say i'm just gonna right click this so i want this uh, first floor plan okay and then i'll just select here okay there you go so that's the name and then i'm gonna open this all right so you have two ways of inserting view inside the sheet okay so the first way is just simply drag and drop so let's say our zero one entry level so you just hold your left click and then drag it to the sheet and then release your left click and then after that you will now be able to click to the location that you want left click and then there you go okay so i'm going to undo this so i'm going to show you the other way of inserting your view inside the sheet okay the other way is going to your view tab and then look for the sheet composition panel and then you can now see here view just click the view and then after that just look for the view that you want to be inserted or add to the sheet so let's say this one and then after that just select add to sheet and there you go so you will now be able to click to place your view okay so in my case i usually use this drag and drop option instead of going to the view and then select the view that i would like to be inserted inside the sheet okay and then as you can see right after we place our uh, floor plan so there is also the title here okay if i go to the properties and then if i click this so there is one option here it's just a uh, viewport one Okay, so if I'm going to click this viewport and then click the drop down arrows, I only have here one option, which is viewport. Now, in other companies' project, so they have several types of, let's say, the title here. Okay, so at the moment, we, also ha we only have one here. But in other company, their standard uh, sheet, they also created other options for them to select. So let's say they don't want to have that. Uh, detail number they only want to have the title and then the scale so it will gonna be available on the type selector okay if they have another option okay and now so when you insert your view in the sheet if you click so you call this viewport so this is the viewport okay and let's say for example uh, you want to modify the floor plan so let's say you want to hide those uh, elevation symbol Okay, so instead of going to the floor plan, 
to the 0, 1 entry level to let's say hide all the elevation, you can actually do that inside the sheet. So all you have to do is to activate the viewport. So to activate the viewport, you just need to double click the viewport to go inside the view. So if you double click, so you are now inside the the view. It's like you already double click 01 entry level, but it's not because you are still in the uh, title block or in your A1 floor plan view. But if you double click inside, it's like you already double click 01 entry level. Okay, so that's why from here you can now uh, modify the views. Okay, if you want to edit the model, you can hide views. Let's say in our case, the elevation. So I can select that, right click, uh, hide in view category. So I want to hide all the elevation symbol. There you go. So it's now hidden. Okay, right. Okay, and then let's say, for example, you are now done editing the model. So all you have to do is to right click and then select deactivate view. Okay, there you go. So you are now again on your sheet view. Okay, now the next thing that we're going to do is let's go to our section uh, A2 section. So by the way, if you're going to expand your sheet here, so you will be able to see all the views that is inside the A1 first floor plan sheet, which is this one. Okay, because you can insert multiple views inside uh, the sheet. Okay, so just remember, if you already inserted your 01 entry level inside the sheet, you will not be able to insert again 01 entry level to another title block. Okay, so you can only insert one uh, view inside the sheet. So if you want to insert another 01 entry level, so what you do is to duplicate it and then change the name, right? Remember, I have shown you how to duplicate, right? So right click, duplicate, duplicate with detailing or duplicate as a dependent. Okay, so let's go to our section. Where's the section? Okay, so A2 dash sections. Okay, and then let's uh, insert our section here. So I have this one. So let's say this one, section through main stair. So again, just drag and drop. So let's insert. There you go. So how about somewhere here? Okay, that's the one. And then I also want to insert the typical wall section. So let's say somewhere here. And then my detail at grade somewhere here. So I'm just going to align it. There you go. All right. So that's it. And then you will notice if I'm going to zoom in. So this is now what I'm talking about. It's now automatically created. So right after you insert this call out inside the sheet, the call out bubble here populates automatically. So you can now see here the detail number and then the uh, sheet number. So meaning to say this call out that you have created can be found on sheet A2 and then detail number is 2. So you need to look at sheet A2, which is this one. So this is sheet A2 and then you look for detail number 2, which is this one. Okay, so detail number 2. So that's the reason why uh, this call out is this one. And now how about this one? Again, it's automatically created. So meaning to say this call out that we have created can be found on sheet A2 and then the detail number is 3, which is this one. So detail number is 3 and this is sheet A2, which is this one. All right. And then um, if we go to our A1 first floor plan sheet, so again, you zoom in so you can now see the section bubble here automatically populates the sheet number and then the detail number. So you can see here the sheet number and then the detail number. So meaning to say this section that you have created can be found on sheet A2, detail number one. Where's that? Sheet A2 and then this one. Okay, detail number one, which is this one. Okay, so basically that's how you insert your views inside the sheet that you have created. Okay, so that's it for this um, simple, uh, simple exercise. 
so hopefully you have learned something in this video if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can just put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can okay so once again thank you for watching have a nice day